Another deadly explosion, this time in the Indonesian capital of Jakarta. Islamic State militants armed with guns and bombs launched a fatal assault in the center of Jakarta today. At least seven people were killed and more than a dozen others injured. Bruce Harrison joins me live in the studio with more. Now, Bruce, uh, bring us up to speed on the attacks. Sure, Kandang. Well, it, it took uh, security forces about three hours to end the siege uh, that took place in the center of the city near a shopping district, uh, mainly outside of a Starbucks and a department store. There were six explosions heard throughout the assault and even a gunfight in a movie theater. The militants apparently killed two people, a policeman and a Canadian, and five of the attackers were also killed, including those who blew themselves up. Now, Bruce, uh, police have already identified uh, the mastermind behind uh, today's attacks. Yeah, the, well, the Islamic State claimed responsibility for this attack fairly quickly, and Jakarta's chief of police said this was definitely the work of ISIS. Chief Tito Carnavian said Indonesian Islamic State fighter Bahrun Naim, who is believed to be in Syria, had been planning the attack for some time. According to a media group affiliated with the Islamic State, the militants were targeting foreign nationals and security forces protecting them. A Dutch man was among those injured. Witnesses recalled the suspects wore all black and appeared to know what they were doing. I saw the motorcycle riders took out a long gun and shot at everybody at the site. They look really professional judging by the way they fired. I ran out, and when I reached the car over there, I heard a second explosion. I ran further, and I heard the third explosion. Over the past several weeks, counterterrorism police in Indonesia have rounded up about 20 people with suspected links to Islamic State. There have been attacks by militants in Indonesia before, but none like today's coordinated assault of suicide bombers and gunmen, a scenario similar to the attacks in Paris last November, though not nearly as fatal.